For a while now, I've been looking at Python packages online. I've been searching for Python packages that help us do fun, cool, interesting things in the simplest way possible. I recently came across Folium, which is a library that we can use to create interactive maps with only a few lines of code in a very simple way. We can use Python and libraries such as Pandas to process our data. And then we can use Folium to create maps to visualize our data and make it look great. The way Folium works is we first create a map I've set different properties for the map, such as the zoom, the location, and many other properties. And after we have our map, we can add markers to this map. This way we can plot different locations and different sets of latitude and longitude coordinates. So I wanted to create this video to show you guys how you can get started with Folium, how you can install it and use it to visualize your data and make it look good. Let's go. For this example slash mini tutorial, we're going to be using this set of coordinates which correspond to Google's headquarters in California. First thing first, we need to import Folium. And we're going to do it right here, actually. We can type pip install Folium. Now you would normally do this from the command line, but this works. So we're going to, we're going to run this. I already have it installed, so it's not going to change anything. Right, it's already satisfied. Okay, moving on. We're going to cut this. We also need to import volume, of course. And as I was saying, the very first thing we're going to do, to do here is to create our map. We're going to use volume and we're going to use the map class from the library. We need to set a location for the map. Location is going to be equal to a list. And in this list, we're going to put the set of coordinates. This is going to be the center of the map. We can also specify the starting zoom, the level of zoom that this map is going to have at the beginning. Zoom underscore start, and we give it an integer, let's say 12. Let's now show the map and see what we got here. Okay, with only one line, well, two lines of code, we can have a map and we can zoom in, zoom out, and scroll. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. We can optionally change the type of the map with the tiles property. Tiles equal equals this one gives you something more um geographic i don't know how to describe this but this is another style of map or we can put stamen toner now the map looks different depends on your project depends on what you want i'll stick to the classic to the normal one right now we got our map and we need to add markers to it so we can plot different locations Again, I'm going to use this set of coordinates to pinpoint the location of the Google, Google's headquarters. But of course, you can add as many markers as you want with any coordinates. All right. So to create a marker, we use the marker class. Volume dot marker with capital M because this is a class. And we specify a location. I'm going to give it the same list. We don't need to write the location keyword here. We simply give it a set of coordinates. We can give it a pop-up optionally. The pop-up is going to be what appears whenever you click the marker. Google HQ and tooltip. All these are optional, well, except the location is not optional, but these two are, are optional. This is going to appear when you hover over the marker. Let's just say this is a tooltip. And after we create the marker, we add it to the map, the add underscore map method. And we pass the map that we created. That's it. We can now visualize the map in, oop, the was add to. Perfect. Add underscore two. There we go. That's the tooltip. And if I click on it, I get the pop up. This receives HTML. So, for example, if we want is a slightly bigger text. We can use an H3 header here. And this is good because you can use this to show more information about the place that's being shown in the map. Let's add a line break. And let's add a P tag. And we close the P tag. Perfect. And of course, we can also change the color of the marker by using the icon 
property volume the icon color equals any color let's say red now it's red we can also add circular markers to specify a region in the map an area using circular markers is very similar similar to adding regular markers we simply say volume circular marker this time we give it a location radius of let's say 50 fill equals true fill color let's say blue dot add 2 m m is our map and then we show m my bad is circle marker there we go so we can use circle markers to specify areas like this has a constant radius and we can also add pop-ups and tooltips just as we added um, added them here to the regular market and that's it these are three element elements that you can use to create interactive maps and plot your data and make it look nice super simple super quick and very powerful she were plotting only one point in the map uh, what would happen if you have a set of data that you want to show on a map if you have a let's say a csv file or an excel spreadsheet with a series of coordinates latitude and longitude let's see an example of that here have this url which points to a csv file with the locations and names of different bike stations in the city of dublin since it's a csv file we're going to use pandas to load the data into our program we're going to visualize it and then we're going to use volume to show each row on the map first of all import pandas as pd and import volume. I know that I already imported it, but I'm just, uh, I'll just do it again. Okay, we're going to create our data frame, which is equal to pd.read underscore csv, and we're going to pass the URL here, and let's see what we have. We have the number of the station, the name of the station, the address, and the coordinates for each one of them. How many do we have? Shape. We have 110. These are too many. Let's just work with 24 now. So the map doesn't look as cluttered. We'll say df equals df dot head 20. All right, this is our data frame. I'll leave it here so we can have this as reference. Now let's create a map based on this. We first need to create the map and then we're going to iterate over this data frame to plot each one of the points. Let's create the map. I'll call it M once again volume dot map capital m the location of the map is going to be a list of two coordinates now what coordinates should we pick here what's going to be the initial location of the map i think it'd be best if we average each one of these columns to uh, set as the location here so let's say the latitude of the map is going to be df latitude dot mean get the average and the longitude is going to be df longitude dot mean to get the average of the longitude these are going to be the um, latitude and longitude values of the map and let's set as zoom it's called start of 12. let's see what we have looks good that's dublin everything's good now we need to iterate over this data frame and one way we can do that is using the method iter rows so for index and location in data frame that iter rows we're going to create a marker for each one of these data points volume marker the location is going to be location latitude comma location longitude we are taking this location which is a row in the data frame and we are accessing the latitude value and we're setting that as the latitude of the marker and the longitude va longitude value is going to be the light longitude of the marker as well and after that we can add tooltip tooltip equals let's say uh, we want to add the name of the station 
as a tooltip. The location name. Remember that these names right here need to match the column names that we that data frame has. And let's say the pop-up as well is going to be pop -up equals location name as well. Okay, so we have added the pop-up, the location's name, we have the tooltip, and the location and I mean latitude and longitude, which are essential for the marker on each each marker needs to have a location, right? Okay, so now we're going to show the map. We forgot something very important, which is we need to add each one of the markers to the map. Perfect. Now we can zoom in and we have all our data neatly displayed here. We already said that this is HTML. We can show more information about each one of the stations, depending on the project. We could do some more processing and color code each one of the markers based on the location. Maybe the ones at the south are going to be one color. We can cluster them. That's up to the specific project that you're working on. But this is how we can use Folding to create maps and add, add markers to it. I find it pretty interesting, super simple to use. And as I was saying, if you have any data that you would like to neatly show in a map and do so in a very simple, quick way, Folding is ideal. I'll be sharing more interesting libraries that I find. If you have any libraries that you think are interesting or that are worth sharing, let me know, write in the comments, and let me know what other videos you would like to see in the future so I can make them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.